Here's a super easy spring painting for you. So I'm taking some light blue and white on my mop brush and doing back and forth strokes over my entire background. And then with my medium round brush, I'm taking some dark brown and tan to make a large branch, making it a little thicker at the one side and doing a couple sub branches coming out. Very similar to how we did the love burn painting a couple weeks ago. I'm doing a couple little sub branches. Notice I have those V's. I have one peeking in from the top left hand corner and you can do a couple tiny ones if you want. It's up to you how much detail you do, but I do suggest taking some tan then and adding some highlights. Now, instead of doing love birds, they had a family and built a nest. So I am going to take some dark brown and make a large oval right on top of that middle branch and let's lay some eggs. I'm going to take a medium pouncer with some bright blue and a little bit of white. I'm going to put the white towards the top of the egg to make it look like it's shining and then press it down twist and pull up oh look at that they're so cute you can do whatever colors you want but make sure they are dry because we're gonna build up our nest now I'm gonna take some tan brown and even a little bit of gold and with a smaller round brush I'm doing some outward strokes coming out in front of that oval don't be afraid to go in front of your eggs too to make them look like they're inside nice and cozy and when you do all those outward strokes, I'm also gonna do some X's over top of it as well to make it look like it's woven in there. If you have a big gap in the back, fill that in a little bit. Don't worry if you get it on your eggs because you can always go back in and touch them up. See, I'm gonna add a little bit of a top there with some highlights, do some little tiny white spots in there to make them look like they're shining. And you can get really detailed with your nest. I'm gonna add highlights and shading to mine, have it poking out all over the place. Now, let me show you one of my favorite leaf tricks. This is kind of the, the cheating way to make a leaf. I'm taking my fan brush and loading it up with dark green and light green. And then I'm gonna smush it down like a stamp and it makes a leaf shape. So make that edge point connect to a branch and then press down and pull up. See how I'm pressing down on the side and I'm lifting the handle up. That's going to make it look like a leaf. Super easy. Make sure you have dark and light green on there. And I'm going to do them all over. It's easy to get carried away with this once you get the hang of it, but add them all over anywhere you want. And then it, before it dries, one of my favorite tricks is I take a toothpick and I go up through the center of them. You don't need any paint on the toothpick, but if they're still wet, you'll get a vein in each of your leaves to make it look a little bit more realistic. I mean, we're doing a little bit more of an impression of a leaf here. And then I'm going to give them a home renovation, make their nest a little bit wider. And at this point, if it looks like you have any bare spots, you can add some even tinier branches and little details wherever you want. I always say it's up to you how much detail you do. I'm just going to add a couple little branches in here and add maybe a few more leaves. I like to go leaf happy too, so just don't lose your painting. And there you go. Kids and adults both love this one. There's so many different ways you can personalize it, so have fun. I'd love to see what you do.